Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring the call park service on the AS5300 with the provisioning client. In today's demo, we'll configure the call park service, assign the service to a domain, assign the service to a user, and remove the call park service that we provisioned. We'll be starting this demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura Application Server 5300 Release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. I've just logged into the provisioning client and the first thing that we need to do is configure our call park service. So we'll click on services, call routing, call park, and this opens our call park service applet. From here we can configure the call park services. If we wanted to change the system default, we could just highlight the system default. And then we can see the system default settings. So auto retrieve park calls is set and uh, the auto retrieve timer is 60 seconds. Seems kind of short, um, but this is uh, the default. In, in For this demo, we're gonna be doing a custom uh, setting. So I'm going to just go back to the home here and we'll enter a name for our profile. I'm just gonna call it Kevin Testing. And I'm going to set the auto retrieve park calls to yes. And I'm going to make it um, 300 seconds. And then we click save. And this will add it to our profile list. And we can see that the call park profile was saved successfully. And we can also see it down here in our list. Now that we have our profile created, uh, we need to assign it to a domain. So we'll click on the assign remove button. And this opens up our system profile uh, selector. So we select an available domain. We just click on it and we click on copy. And now our profile will be applied to this domain and we hit save. And we get a message telling us that the call park profile was applied to the domain and saved successfully. And what this means is that any users in that domain can use this call park profile as their primary call park settings. Now the next thing we need to do is apply the call park settings to a user. So we'll just do a quick search for a user. Click on search. I'm going to search uh, the DS2 auto SIP domain and I'll just list everybody. And we'll use the SIP 1037 user. We'll just open up his profile, click on services, uh, scroll down to the call park, click on the checkbox and click on save. And the changes are saved and we get a message telling us that we need to apply the specific service profile to the user in order for the service to take effect. So what this is telling us is that we need to go back to our call park service and apply it to this user. So I open up services, call routing, call park. And from the call park service, we want to click on user data. And we want to find the user we were just looking at. Do a search for that. And now that the system's found the user that we were interested in, we select from our profile, we want to select the Kevin Testing Park profile, click on save, and we get a message that the call park user profile was assigned successfully. So now let's go back to our system profile, and we'll just take a look at the users associated with this profile. And we can indeed see that the SIP 1037 user has been assigned to the call park service. And we'll go back to the home, and back to system profile. And the final thing that we need to do is remove our test profile from the system. Now, we would normally just click on delete, but since we've already assigned this to a user and to a domain, we're going to get an error message telling us that we need to remove it 
all users and we need to remove it from the domain first before we can delete it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll remove the user first. So we just go to user data and we already have the user in our search find so we'll just leave it there and we have the Kevin test testing park list in our system profile and we just click on delete. As always this is service affecting so we have to confirm with the admin password. And we get a message telling us that the call park user profile was unassigned successfully. So now we can go and remove the call park profile from the domain. Click on the assign and remove. Select the domain in our selected domains and click on remove. Then click on save. And we can see from the message that the call park profile was removed from the domain successfully. And now all we have to do is delete the profile. Click on delete. And once again, this is service affecting action and we need to confirm it with the admin password. And we get a message that the call park profile was deleted successfully. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was helpful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.